we say is it really is never too late because we have the the data to show it, right? That there are people who who like find their tribe for the first time in their 60s, or they, you know, they find love in their 80s. I mean, it's kind of astonishing. And we have 20 somethings who have said to me, uh, I'm no good at relationships. They're never gonna happen for me. They're sure that they're that it's just not gonna work out for them. And so the message that we can give backed by science is that's not the truth, that it is really not too late. But then you're asking the big question, like, well, what then what? What do you do? And I think that it involves doing some of the things we've been talking about, that it involves figuring out what what could you do? What small steps could you take? And one of the things I want to name is that people should expect a little bit of failure. Like not everybody you reach out to is going to respond with warmth. They may ghost you. They may not respond at all. They may be, uh, they may feel annoyed, right? Uh, Sometimes that happens. And so I think when you think about starting to reach out, it's important to remember that there's, there are going to be times when it doesn't work. It's like shooting baskets in basketball. You know, you're not going to make, make the basket every time, right? So, so the, and that has to be something we prepare ourselves for. And then to think about maybe a place to start is think about something you love. Think about something you love to do. It could be anything, you know, it could be bowling. It could be be playing the banjo. It could be knitting, gardening. It could be working to prevent climate change. It could be, it could be anything. And think about ways to do it alongside other people who share a similar interest because that's a natural place. Often, you know, that gives you, first of all, it gives you something in common. It gives you a place to start conversations. And then one of the things that research tells us is that if you put yourself in situations where you're going to see the same people repeatedly and maybe have casual conversations, those conversations can start to deepen. That's why the water cooler or the coffee machine at work was so important. We don't know what we're going to do now that those are falling out of existence. Uh, But these are the kinds of things we can do. 